you tired of the old Gmail user interface? Is your inbox filled with hundreds and hundreds of emails that you're never even going to read? Well, Mailbox app seems to solve that. Let's check it out. Sup guys, it's Apps on Fire here with another video. And yes guys, junior year is over, it was the last day of school today. So that means more time for YouTube, summer is here. I'm going to have videos every single day. I'm going to have reviews shooting out like nothing. I'm going to have all the apps um, that I can um, reviewed for you guys. And I hope you guys like it. Um, I have a lot of stuff that's going to be happening on this channel. So stay tuned. And also subscribe if you're new, if you um, haven't um, subscribed yet. And also follow me on Twitter. It's down in the description below if you haven't followed me yet. So, um, yeah, this is... Uh, Mailbox app review, and it is an app that is um, created by the people that made Dropbox. Uh, so there's a big company, and they're trying to simplify the way that you use your Gmail. Currently, it's only supporting Gmail and iCloud, but they um, look to expand their range to other emails. So watch out for that. Be patient; they'll have other emails out there for you as well. So Mailbox has a really good, uh, simple user interface. It really just makes it easier for you to organize all your emails into three uh, specific tabs. And the first tab is the read later tab, which you uh, put all the emails that you want to um, read later. Um, and you could set a specific time that you want to um, bring it back into your inbox so it could kind of remind you that you have an email that um, you need to uh, read. And it's really good that um, they added this because um, I find myself forgetting about a lot of emails that have been sent and it really just um, a good way to remind yourself of the email that you just got. And the um, second tab is the uh, inbox itself. It's basically just you can put all your important emails in there and it just really, really blows my mind how um, much you can reduce the amount of uh, emails that you see on your inbox because all of them will just be um, archived if you've read it. Um, so that brings me to the third tab, is the archive tab. So if you read um, an email and you don't want it to show up in your inbox anymore because it's like spam or something or you already read it, well you just swipe, um, you just swipe right and then you could archive it or delete it. And basically archive is just where you put all the emails that you already read and you don't want it to show up in your inbox anymore which is really cool. And the interface is really uh, cool to use, you know, you just swipe left and it has all your um, things on the left hand side and then if you want to archive and um, email you could just swipe and then it will archive it or if you swipe longer you could delete it and it works the um, for the read later and uh, read later tab also if you swipe it will also um, bring it to the watch uh, read later tab and it just makes it really easy for you guys just to organize your emails into um, these three specific places and it's just really um, solid app to have if you want a simple uh, UI. But um, the, my problems with this app is that you can't um, see your spam folder. So like if you have some emails that are in your spam folder, you won't be able to get to them. But I don't know uh, why would you need to use your spam folder unless like it, some email that you have um, just happened to be on there that you need to put back on your inbox. So yeah, there's no spam folder here, so you won't be able to see that. Um, they'll probably fix it soon. And another thing is they don't have a specific widget, so you won't be able to uh, have a widget on your Android phone or tablet. So another downer there, but uh, it's a new app, so they should be updating it to um, have more features and stuff. And it doesn't support all emails, so that's a big bummer as well. But uh, again, it's uh, meant for Gmail, and it does a really good job at uh, what it does. So my Apps on Fire rating is an 8 out of 10, solid 8 out of 10, because it is the best Gmail client out there, and it's just really simple, but it doesn't have a widget, and um, doesn't have a spam folder, so I have to give it an 8 out of 10, and um, thanks for watching, hope you guys had a um, fun time watching my video, and make sure to download this app, the link will be in the description below, once again, it's Apps on Fire here with another video. Yeah.